This is a review on calculating blood transfusion administration rates. I'm referring to the policy of administration of blood and blood products. In the first 15 minutes, you're going to calculate the adult rate to equal 2 mLs per minute or no more than 30 mLs in the first 15 minutes. So this is the calculation that we're going to do the math for. If you look at the upper right hand corner of your blood transfusion tube, you'll see the drip rate. In this case, the tubing that we use here is a drip rate of 10 drops per mL. So that is going to be our drip rate, 10 drops per mL, and our starting infusion per policy is 2 mL per minute. So in order to calculate our hourly rate, we're going to take the 2 mL times 60 minutes in an hour equals 120 mL per hour. This is the hourly rate that you will document when you're beginning your blood transfusion. In order to calculate how many drops per minute you're going to count. You're going to set up your math by your volume in mLs divided by your time in minutes times your drip factor and that's going to equal your drops per minute. So in this case our numbers are pretty simple. We are trying to calculate 2 mLs divided by 1 minute times our drip factor which is 10 is going to give us 20 drops per minute or approximately five drops per 15 seconds because we're going to look at each drop uh, falling for the 15 seconds or if you want to count the full minute um, in order to get the most approximate rate we can get. So the rate of your blood is going to depend on your size of the IV, how high you're putting the blood transfusion, and you'll have to play with the rolling clamp so that you can get as close to your five drops for every 15 seconds or your 20 drops per minute. Now let's look at what the math would be set to for the rest of your transfusion. Right, so our um, volume now after the 15 minutes is about approximately 330 mLs what's left. Um, so we're going to divide that by the rest of our transfusion time, which let's say approximately two and a half hours or 150 minutes. And we'll multiply that by the drip rate and that gives us about 22 drops per minute. So you can see you don't really need to manipulate the drops um, that much after your starting rate. Uh, you just really want to check in periodically to make sure the patient's not having any reaction and to make sure that the patient hasn't kinked their IV or um, you know that the drip is set to what you left it at. Um, that two and a half hours I think gives you a buffer in case you have had where the patient's occluding their own IV and um, time has lapsed without any um, infusion going, this gives you a little wiggle room um, to work with so that you can make sure that you're transfusion, transfusing within the four hours from the time the blood has left the blood bank. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you calculate your blood transfusion rates. Thanks.